Hello everybody, my name is Anthony and if you found this video uh, in Co Park on the fountain and you, this is uh, my chronicles of surviving the apocalypse and uh, this is, um, I would consider episode one, how to scavenge properly so we, we have a house behind me that is completely abandoned but we're going to pretend that we don't know but um, so we're going to bring you through the very steps of scavenging. What I have here is a messenger bag for the necessities I should bring back to camp. I have a small group outside of town. So just gonna bring that up. I'm going to be doing this as first person as I can. Occasionally showing my face if I need to. Alright, so let's get going. Alright, so garage. If these are not worth it, the toys and stuff, they're not, they're non-lethal takedowns, so this is what you're going to want over here, which are the gardening tools and all that good stuff, because if you don't have a gun or a melee, gardening tools are your next best thing. So let's get moving. Now, we already know this place is abandoned, but for just, let's say, it's not. We want to check the entire house. Alright. You're going to want to do this room by room. Close the door behind you. Want to take it slow and steady. Doors locked. Room. Vanished. Right. Nothing, just old clothes. Alright, I suppose we'll start up here. Clothes and other stuff like that is not a necessity. What you're going to want, bathroom supplies. Shampoo. Uh, let's see here. Rubbing alcohol, definitely good for those cuts and bruises. Vaseline for those rashes and whatever. A bunch of just cleaning supplies and makeup. Ah. This must be the parents' bedroom or something. Okay, back it's locked. Anyway, let's head back. Now. So that's what you look for in the bathrooms. Dining rooms. Uh, D batteries. Use the power things. 
bunch of coats. Nothing really that I can carry at this time. Cleaning supplies. Looks like school just got out. Something. Bunch of school supplies. Nothing really back there. Uh, all right, I'm gonna move into the living room here. Baller. See if there's any. Money's not really much of an, uh, a necessity, but you know use it for trade. Looks fine. Let's keep going. Bunch of old board games. Books. Books might be nice. Videos and tapes are not worth it because you're not going to get running. You need electricity, and electricity has gone down. I think this someone did karate. Challenge staff. Excellent. I can take that. We have enough weapons at camp. A pair of nunchucks. I don't have one of these, so I'll take it. Put that in the bag. Uh, now the kitchen. Got a trash bin right there. Some silverware. I need some of this back home. We're stuck to just eating finger food. Couple forks. Nice. Old coffee mugs. Nothing much. Refrigerators have long since ran out of juice. Just a bunch of old dish towels. Now we have some uh, food. Canned food. Pasta sauce. Sauce. Spaghetti sauce. Ugh. Tuna. This is nice. Get some of that. Running out of space in my messenger bag for all this. Peanut butter. I would usually take that, but it's way too big for my messenger bag. Uh, we can always come back. Chicken noodle soup. It's always nice. I think that's good enough. Ooh. Honey has a lot of uh, protein. Let's just stuff that in there. Close that. Let's see what we have here. A bunch of prescribed medicine. Avril might be nice in case we uh, need to release some pains. Close that up. We don't have a lot of space. We can always come back. A bunch of dog stuff, food, all that. That's pots and pans, cleaning supplies. Now let's check in here. Well, this is more uh, stuff. Bag of sun chips. Plastic containers. I'll take one of these for those leftover meals that you don't want to waste. Uh, crackers. Nice choice. For some quick meals. Alright, that's about all that I can carry. Here's my entire messenger bag so far. And I think 
we're gonna grab a weapon out of the garage. Now choosing weapons is the prime thing. This is a good multi-tool, you know, use it as a weapon and uh, uh, I'll just grab the shovel here. Alright. So that's how you loot a house. You know what to look for. Usually you should look for what your group needs, not just what you need. Alright, so I'm going to lay out all that we got from that. Of course, we've got a shovel, which I'm just going to lay down right there. we got a book. We have a pair of nunchucks, plastic container, and a tuna, crackers, another can of tuna. Honey, uh, rubbing alcohol, uh, Vaseline, chicken noodle soup, some Advil, kind of just reaching in there. We got a bunch of D batteries, I think I got four. Some shampoo for the washing. Bunch of silverware that I don't want dirty up out here. So really, this is the entire load, and that's kind of probably scavenger house. And uh, this is for post-apocalyptic purposes. Uh, that's basically it. See you guys later.